these kids need this. It's not something that we want, it's something that she needs to live. It wasn't a difficult course because we had done everything possible. The beauty of what's going on is you have a bottom-up movement. It's the people who are learning, it's the people who are using it, and our governments are preventing parents from doing that. And what people are angry about is, this is basically a harmless substance. It's a wicked problem. There are potential benefits, perhaps, in some people. There are potential risks. Some people seem to believe cannabis might cure things. This is, in fact, a paradigm shift, really, for medicine in its entirety. I'm at a loss to understand how some senior doctors, senior academics, can say there's no evidence that it's effective and that it's highly dangerous. Frankly, I think that's nonsense. We use it as a medication. We don't use it as a drug. I look at it as another medicine. So we're learning as we go. I believe in changing the attitude through research, through proof that it is uh, helpful for patients. In developing uh, proven drugs, those two processes altogether will change the whole subject. We have uh, one of the best researchers in the world here, Professor Rafi Meshulam, and he showed us the way. Yeah, it turns out that this may be extremely important, very important in human disease states. He said it's from God. He said it's present from God. And what kind of effect did it have? You calm me down. <laughs> Miracle. Yes. Within three days, we started seeing Dacia become, come alive. It's given me the next 20 years. It's that simple.